and YouTube, it's Reesh Sheehan. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment on my videos. Also, please don't forget to click the notification bell. Excuse me while I glisten. You know, from time to time I do do that. I was watching this video and I could only watch, it was a 40 minute video, it was on YouTube. Um, I could only watch like two minutes of it, if that much. It was basically about a man's opinion of the plight of the African American society and family. His feeling is that the blame lies squarely on African American women's shoulders. So he chose to use a video that um, showed a man, a black man, aggressively pursuing a black woman and the black woman wasn't, she wasn't interested. He would not leave her alone. According to her, he followed her through the store, out to her car. So she started to, she just whipped out her phone and started filming it. And she's telling the people, or she's saying, talking to the camera saying, hey, he won't leave me alone. He keeps, he won't stop following me. So I'm going to film him, film him because I fear for my safety. Dude thought it was a joke at first. When she went to get into his her car, he went to try to get into the passenger side. She finally started walking back toward the store, towards the store. I mean, he kept his distance, but she kept telling him no, and he kept following her. So finally, you know, she started walking back towards the store to go into the store to tell someone. That's when he started getting aggressive, telling, telling her to erase what she had filmed, that he was going, she wasn't going to make money off of him, to erase what she, what she had filmed. Even though he was the one that kept following her, he chose to use that as the one of the videos to prove his point that black women were the scourge of our community. We were the reason why the community was in the shambles that it is now. Not slavery, not Jim Crow. Mm. Black women. Now, interestingly enough, I've seen that video before. Willie D had done a video on his channel, Willie D from the Black from the Ghetto Boys. Now the way he described the video was totally different than this guy. The guy who felt like when black women were the scourge of the black community. Oh, and he also compared us to succubuses. If you're not uh, familiar with the term, a succubus is the name of a demon who uses their sex to steal a man's essence. Anyway, so Willie D, it's about the same video. What Willie D said about this guy was that the dude was a simp. I agree. It's a simp. Yeah, totally. Can't take no for an answer. She told you no. What else needed to? What, what else were you guys gonna talk about? And why were you trying to get in her car? That would be thirsty. I would definitely call that behavior. That behavior to me is thirsty. I mean, he act like he never, ever, ever been with a woman ever in life. He was just so enamored with her that he just could not see, he couldn't imagine her not being in his life. Well, she said no. Take the hint. But Willie D didn't call blame it on the woman. Willie D put the blame where it belonged in this situation, and that was. Dude, she said no, take no for an answer. We're following her. What were you following her for? But the guy who decided that black women are succubuses 
used that as one of the videos to prove his point that we are succubuses, a scourge on the society, and are totally and completely tearing the fabric of the black American family to shreds. Black women are. Now, my goal is not to make assumptions. It's real hard in this situation, though. It's hard to it's not it's hard to make, not make assumptions. Period. In certain, especially in, when you're looking at the situation here, in a situation like this, and you're just trying to figure out why would you come to that? How could you come to that conclusion? How could you possibly come to that conclusion that black women are the skirt? Black women, we are the ones that should be held. And in no time, and again, let me put this disclaimer out. I couldn't watch more than two minutes of this content. But I, in those two minutes, I don't remember him saying that we as black men or we as black women and the and they as black men need to come together as a unit love each other and show each other love instead of what we tend to show each other like in that video which is a lot of misplaced rage and hate black women cannot be held responsible will not be held responsible for the society crumbling that is not just one one section of the society's responsibility that's everybody's that's all of the adults responsibility it's up to the adults to change the the trajectory of the African-American plight it's up to us it, we it's up to us not just black women not just black men but black women and black men or for you men who think that you know we black women don't you know know how to treat our men black men and black women I'm to, I, I saw that I just shook my head like really and yeah it was hard not to make some assumptions like the assumption is in my mind that this guy and I know I met I know John, Don Miguel Ruiz the four agreements one of them is do not assume I get it I've been saying I was saying that I have several videos on it is real hard for me real hard for me not to assume right now because to me, that man made assumptions. He made some judgment calls that, unfortunately, there were other men sounding off down in the comment section. Preach, brother. Yeah, if you don't know this is the truth, I feel sorry for you. Black women are not the response, it's not our responsibility to hold up the whole entire society. It is not our responsibility. It is irresponsible for him to have put that video out in the first place. He got that from somewhere, but that's called deflection. That's called misdirection. That's called chaos and confusion, mess and illusion. We are not, cannot be held responsible for the whole entire society. How do you sound? We are responsible for our part. You are responsible for yours. It doesn't sound like you're taking responsibility to me. It sounds like you're blaming. It sounds like you're not trying to look at your part, but trying to put to uh, deflect your responsibility as a black man. So if you don't, if you fail, you then gonna blame black women. It's all black women's fault for your failure. How narcissistic is that? It's your failure. It's not my failure. The white man didn't give me what I have. I didn't have to prostitute myself to get where I'm at. 
I actually used my brain. A lot of us black women do. It is irresponsible for this man to put that content out. Very irresponsible. But again, I make some assumptions. I look at Willie D, who is a very accomplished black man. For those of you who don't know Willie D, he is not just Willie D from the Ghetto Boys. No, Willie D is a business owner. Willie D invested in Bitcoins when it first started. I don't know how many he has now, but Willie D is a millionaire. And it's not just from rap. I don't know how much money he made from rap, but uh, he made a nice bit of change on Bitcoins. Willie D is an entrepreneur. So to me, when I listen to Willie D use the exact same video to describe a situation where he actually is saying this sister had every right to take to pull out her phone to film this man who was being aggressive towards her and the man should have taken his step back and left her alone after she said she wasn't interested and he didn't that was not her fault that was his fault for another dude who I'm gonna make some assumptions here is not on a Willie D level to make this garbage about black women being the scourge of our society and the reason why it's in decline. Oh, like I said, I made some assumptions. Like, I'm just gonna assume you haven't had vagina, in particular black vagina, since black vagina had you. I'm gonna make that assumption. Because you took a very broad, angry, misogynistic stroke across that canvas. And it was very disheartening to see all the brothers in the comment section applauding you. So I'm like, have are you all sex deprived or what's the deal? Has black vagina been that elusive to you that you've just decided that you know, it because you are, have not experienced it in such a long time, it therefore is toxic. I, I don't know. I'm just making some. I'm just hey, alleged, as they say, it's a. Ale I'm alleging, allegedly. I, I was. Very irresponsible, dude. 